welcome. My name's Lewis, and uh, welcome to a uh, first part in many of our Skyrim mod updates. Uh, so I'm going to be running you through some of the most major ones originally, and uh, then we're going to look at some of the minor ones and obviously catch up with what comes out uh, as they go along. Uh, if any of you don't know, um, Skyrim's obviously been out for quite some time now, and it's got millions of different type of mods that are already around for it, which um, they have type ones to change the UI, you can change texture packs, you can change... Uh, spells, weapons, armor, anything like that. Um, but lately, Steam has decided to do what's called the Steam Workshop, which is uh, a pretty cool idea. And it basically, what it does is uh, Steam will handpick, or you can uh, send them some of your mods, and uh, if they like it, they'll throw it on there for you to download, which is really simple. All you do is literally find the mod you like, subscribe, and next time you uh, play Skyrim, it'll automatically update it from there. Uh, and from your file section, you can turn the um, you can turn the mod on and off if you don't want to use it, which is um, which is really nice. So, I thought for this one we'd kick off with uh, one of the most fun ones, I think. Uh, and I've decided to show you a mod called the Stormbreaker. Now, bear in mind this mod is stupidly overpowered. Um, it's more of a fun mod than anything else. But basically, what it does is uh, as soon as you get it it will allow you to use a magic spell called Stormbreaker. Uh, and what this uh, Stormbreaker does is it shoots out uh, quite a bit of lightning and thunder and bad stuff, basically, and uh, disintegrates anything. Now, you've got to be really careful with this one because it has a massive, massive radius when it comes to um, actually using it. Uh, so if you're going to use it in a small area, make sure that you haven't got any uh, like NPCs or anything like that around um, because you'll hurt them as well and then they'll they won't be too impressed and go a bit mental on your ass. So uh, yeah, make sure you stay away from that. So this is Stormbreaker. <laughs> pretty insane. So yeah, that's uh, that's Stormbreaker one-handed, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if I show you, uh, you can also use it two-handed. Um, here we go. Why you'd need to use it two-handed is just way beyond me. Um, it just blinds you. Uh, so yeah, this isn't really a magic spell that you're going to be using throughout the game. Uh, if you want to cheat, if you come up against like some monstrous boss, then yeah, unleash the Stormbreaker on him, uh, and that will like it will lay the pain on him. But um, yeah, this is just more of a fun mod. This first one I wanted to show you. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it's like on some enemies. Um, we're going to sneak up on, uh, going to sneak up on some of these big dudes and. Uh, Show them how it's done. Eh? So let's get their attention first. Big ogre dude, come here. Notice me. Jesus Christ! They normally notice you a load quicker. Here we go. So normally fighting these on a low level like myself, you're going to have some major, major problems. Uh, but with Stormbreaker, you have none of these. So let's uh, let's lay the smack down on them, shall we? And that is Stormbreaker. It literally disintegrates anything that it hits and turns them into a uh, pile of ashes. Uh, you can do a little bit of looting as well, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Stormbreaker. It will literally disintegrate anything you use. There goes a mammoth. So, like I said, this isn't really a main part of the game. This isn't a mod you're going to be constantly using uh, unless you just want to fly through the game. Um, obviously, if you come up against some like hard-ass dragons or anything, then just lay the Stormbreaker on them. Um, generally, I probably won't be using it just because I actually want to play the game properly. Um, but yeah, that is Stormbreaker for you. So if you have any uh, questions about Stormbreaker, or if you have any problems with downloading it from the Steam Workshop or uh, anything at all, just drop us an email. It's uh, www.monstertech at gmail.com, and tech is T3CH. Uh, and we'll get back to you, or just drop a uh, comment in the section uh, just down below the video. And uh, myself or someone else will get back to you. So yeah, like I say, it's the first part in uh, many videos. I'm going to be running through some of the um, different mods and bits for Skyrim. Uh, we're not going to do any playthroughs or walkthroughs. They've been done. But I think these bits are quite cool. And it's good for the uh, creators of them to uh, get it shown. Get it shown on YouTube. Get people knowing what it is. Obviously, the Steam Workshop's done a massive part for that. And uh, they've got tons and tons of stuff on there constantly being updated. 
like a, with like a, a most downloaded, most uh, top rated, newest. There's tons in there, so go check them out, and uh, I will be showing you some of the new ones as they uh, as they come out. So my name is Lewis, and I will uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.